Hello and welcome to episode 4 of this walkthrough of the KSP career in 1.0. My name's Negative Root and let's get cracking. Today we're going to do the Rendezvous, two vessels in orbit of Kerbin. So this is going to be a really fun mission, one that I think that a lot of people will struggle with until you get the idea. And, and once you get the idea, it becomes quite rewarding. So I've got the I've got the mission this time. I've I've accepted it, unlike I did with that Moon mission. And I've had Jeb return. Now I've grabbed another node here. I grabbed this one because what that does is that gives me the uh, Probodobodine Octo Core. And that actually has SAS assist. So you might see just underneath reaction wheel it says SAS, stability assist. What that means is we can grab some of these other pilots, uh, these other Kerbals, and start getting them some experience. So right now, Bill Kerman is sitting in orbit, a 150 kilometer orbit, in Kamenai 1, waiting for the Kamenai 2 mission. So what we're going to do is we're going to send Bob Kerman up in uh, Kamenai 2 to meet him. Now I'm using a modified K3 rocket that I used in the uh, Orbit Kerbin mission. This is going to be Kamenai 2. See? And this should have tons of Delta V to do it. Uh, I've got some stuff in there that you know should just make the mission uh, flow smoothly. And uh, yeah, we're all, we're all good. Now then. Let's get uh, the right Kerbal in the pilot seat. Jeb, you can take a seat for this one. And then let's go out and get a rendezvous. Now, there is a way of rendezvousing direct from the surface. That's probably a little bit advanced, and I don't know how to do it. I need to learn. But here it is. We're going to set him as our target. And now what's going to happen is we get this target option under the nav ball. So you can see that, that he's moving away from us at a great rate of knots. Now, because he's moving away from us, what we need to do is we need to be moving faster than him. That means we need to be on a tighter orbit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to aim for a 120 kilometer orbit. Because that's going to be inside him. And uh, let's get the SAS up, paddle lock, full throttle. Bill, hold on to your ass, buddy. This is, uh, you're going to space. Now... These, uh, these launches should be pretty straightforward. Uh, by this stage, you should be pretty competent at getting into uh, into orbit. We'll change this back to surface so that we know what the hell we're doing. And these K-series K rockets have been excellent. They've really done the job for us. and We should be able to uh, you know, really move through Korea from here with these, uh, what these are setting us up to do. Because there's, uh, there's only a few more episodes I'm going to do. Um, there's, there's a Minmus mission coming up, and I think there'll be a, a moon landing, and, I th and it's debatable whether I'll do Duna or not. So make sure you let me know if you'd like me to do a Duna mission, show you what that's like, give you an idea of how to complete it. Because there is Fly to Duna. That is one of the um, Kerbal World First Record Keeping Aside Society missions. And uh, yeah, it, like uh, I, I don't want to do it all though for you. I want to show you the basics, get you on the right way, and then from there let you make your own mistakes. So we're just following the program marker right now. We're right on target with regards to our velocity, our vector. Our fuel, this is a very, very nominal launch. Bob, you're doing a great job. I know you look scared as shit, but just hang on, buddy. We'll get you there. You'll be okay. Let's have a quick look, see what's happening. Uh, Apoapsis is okay. We're heading in the right direction. We're about to lose the first stage. It's about to burn out. So we've got oh, half, of, half of a 400 tank left to go. That's excellent. And what we're going to do is we're going to burn straight up to 120k. And then from there we're going to do our manoeuvring. Because we are going to need to manoeuvre. We need to go, we're going to need to catch up to, uh, to Bill. Or Bob. Or whoever's in that one. 
and uh, get it so that we can match orbits with them and that's that's what we need to achieve so we'll just uh, continue to burn here now what I'll do is I'll get uh, here Continue to burn, make sure our apoapsis isn't getting too high. Remember, we're aiming for 120. Now, the reason I'm going for 120 is that's where the next level of time warp is, so you can get into five times time warp. So we're nearly there, 120, one, two, that'll do. Perfect. Add a maneuver. And we just want to circularize it. Because once we've circularized it, then we'll go about setting our um, encounter. Actually, that's a really, really nice orbit. I'm liking that. Let's get on the prograde. Sorry, on the manoeuvre node. We're in space. We will open our service bay. It's on the other side, of course it will be. Roll you. Yeah, that's what's up. Alright, we've got a couple of minutes before we need to burn. Bob, you just sit pretty there, buddy. coming up on the node okay we need to go at roughly 11 seconds well we're a little bit late but you know whatever okay we can get rid of that now just go to the prograde marker and we'll just watch our orbit grow now if if this was on the other side of the planet what I'd be doing is instead of going to 120 orbit, just give me a second, let me just, there we go, instead of going to 120k orbit, I'd go to like a 170 or something, because what that means is we're going to be outside this, uh, this ship, and then we'll be moving slower, which will allow it to catch up. If we go to the inside, okay, and it's over here, we're going to have to do tons and tons and tons and tons and tons and tons, tons of orbits to catch up. So, now what we'll do is we'll set Kerbin as our focus. And we're going to, well, it's going to take us more than one orbit, I would say. But what we'll do is we'll just see if we can set it up so that we can get close. All right. Let's, now what we'll do, okay, is I've got my apoapsis sitting on his orbit. Now, if we were wildly inclined, what I would be aiming to do, and actually what I will do here is just for the sake of it, so I'll sit my approach and my apoapsis on the AN. Okay, that will just I'll make sure that we get it, um, we get him. So we will advance an orbit. Now notice how that target moves. See that? That's where it's going to be this orbit, that's where we're going to be. That's where it's going to be next orbit, and the next, and the next. Ooh. So right now we're pretty close. And what we'll, we'll do, no, okay, we'll get close. What we'll do is just see if we can move it in such a way that we can actually get it on top of each other. So it's actually going to be around here somewhere. You can see now that the, the markers are getting really close. So the separation is 11 kilometers. And we can see by looking that we're not actually going quick enough. So we'll speed that up. Get closer to the orbit. And it's a lot of fine tuning, but once you learn what you're doing, there we go, separation of 0.4k. Once you learn what you're doing, it's quite easy. So in two hours, 23 minutes, we need to burn for uh, one second to get this into counter. And I will show you the advanced way of getting a, a rendezvous. So you can see that my ship is catching up to Bill's ship. We'll just pick up that speed warp a bit. So you can see that we've got 100 times now. 
So we've got uh, a little while to wait. Basically, you just need to understand that you're not, it's not like you're on Earth. Okay, you're orbiting. So because you're moving around something, you're constantly, you're thinking in a circle rather than a straight line. And what you need to do is you need to get used to the nap ball, especially when you start getting uh, into the rendezvous side of things. Because what we're going to do is we're going to use the nav ball to come to a complete dead stop, pretty much right next to it. And we're only going to use the main engine. And it's, it seems really difficult, but it's not. So just quickly, target on the nav ball will give you a different set of um, symbols. The retrograde, when it's set to target, is directly away from the target's velocity. This is directly towards it. Okay, so this is directly towards the target, and your retrograde is your motion with re with respect to it. So if I was to burn this way, I would be di heading directly towards the target. That's where the target is right there. But if I was to burn uh, on the retrograde, that would kill my velocity relative to my target. And we're going to use a combination of these pink ones and the yellow ones to get us really, really close. So we need to do one more orbit. So this is speeding up uh, relative to the target. Okay. And you see that our velocity to our target is actually dropping. This is directly away from the target. Okay, so that's away. The other pink one is towards. This is velocity away. Coming up on it. So you can think of it, this is your velocity, that's the way you're pointing. I don't know if that works, but... Basically, just uh, play with it <laughs> until you get used to it. So we'll burn down a little bit closer. Right, we're all set. We're uh, we're 77 kilometers away currently. And in a couple of seconds, we'll burn and get this separation. Now, lots of people really try and get this separation down, down, down as f fine as they can. Really, within a kilometer is fine. So I'll just take this away. Just burn slowly. You can see we're a little bit far away. Point 0.5, that'll do us. Because I want to demonstrate how to actually get a closer approach without having to fool around with maneuver nodes. Now then, Kim and I too. Oi. Anyway, you can see now we're moving out to meet it. We're slightly behind, but we'll catch up on the way through. And we're going to swing past it at a separation of 500 meters. So, what we'll do. There we are, 23 kilometers away. Now the trick is, don't watch that. Do not look at it. Don't. It'll just make things harder. Watch this, this is, this is all you need to know. So right now, that's our velocity, and that's the target. So you can see that the two are quite closely aligned, which means we're actually moving towards it. What we want to do, though, is when we get close, we want to kill all our relative velocity with respect to the target. When we do that, what we mean is we will extend this rendezvous to be 500 meters indefinitely. So let's keep waiting. This is actually a really nice rendezvous. It's not uh, It's not going to be hard at all. You can see that our speed is quite low. Remember, if you, whatever you put in, if you want to go faster towards the target, remember you've got to slow down at the other end too. So there's 12, 11, 10. Eight, five, six.
Yep, we're coming up on it. See that our, our target speed is steadily dropping. Okay, there's one. Now say this was as close as you were going to get. Your target and your um, positional vectors are going to be off. What you need to do is if you want to get closer, you just need to burn slightly off and push that down to towards the marker. Now what that means is I've just moved my velocity vector to be over the top of my target vector which means that suddenly all of a moment I've just reduced how far apart we're going to be at that moment of, uh, of rendezvous. So we've gone from 0.5 to 0.2 and this works for any um, any separation up to a point. Oops, I'm going the wrong way. I need to be here. Obviously right now I'm slowing up my target speed so I'm actually reducing the amount of uh, velocity I've got as well. So that's uh, causing um, kind of an added bonus times two is that I'm not have, going to have to slow down that much when I get there and I'm going to be closer when I finally arrive. And this this is how the advanced people dock, this is how Stop, Scott Manley would do it, uh, Bob Fitch, this, this is how they do it. They just steadily they fine tune that. If they need to go faster they'll spin around get the prograde and this actually works the same way too. Okay, You can drag this onto the target vector, did you see that? So I drag it away, I'm increasing separation. There we go, we're dead on the money now. But we're going a bit quicker so we'll flip around, make sure that we're pointed away. And when you're, if you've got RCS, you can actually use RCS to do this on a smaller scale and give you the tweaks that you need to really just park it right on top of what it needs uh, on, on top of the uh, on the top of the target we're at 600 meters out I'm just keeping that velocity vector parked on top and this this is going to actually going to come before a moon landing in this series, but it's very similar to landing on a uh, airless body. As far as you, you just push the velocity vector up, or you push it, you don't push it up, but you push it towards the uh, the target. And remember the trick: don't look at it, because you're thinking, "Oh, I need to, I need to go this way." <laughs> nope, you got to go the wrong way. Just watch this: push the yellow one onto the pink one. That's all you need to do. It's a push when you're facing away, and it's a pull when you're facing towards. But you'll, you'll quickly work that out when you're, it starts to not go the way you want it to. So there we go, we're 100 metres away. I wonder if I could park this at like 50 or something. That'd be awesome. I'm going to need that. I can't see where I'm going otherwise. There we go. 30 meters, ladies and gentlemen, and we are matched up. I did get the uh, the rendezvous already. Uh, that one was uh, achieved at 2.2 kilometers, so you don't even need to get it that close to achieve the contract, but you know, I'm a perfectionist and I enjoy docking, so it is what it is. So there you go, that's how you rendezvous two craft in orbit. I hope you've learned something. Go out and try it. Uh, you don't really need anything too complicated. You don't even need RCS. If you, uh, if you know what you're doing. So thank you very much for joining me in the next mission. Oh, gee, actually, I don't know what the next... Oops, I don't want to revert it. I want to go back to the Space Center. Let's have a look and see what the next mission will be. Orbit the Moon. Okay, so we're heading back to the Moon, and we need to perform an orbit this time around. So that's going to be a lot of fun. I'll see you then.